Hello, my name is Anders Valne. I'm the chairman of Science Forum COVID-19, a society founded by more than 40 physicians and scientists. And our mission is to save lives and prevent all forms of suffering in the COVID-19 pandemic. We are critical to the way the Swedish Public Health Agency and the Swedish government have handled the COVID-19 pandemic. We aim to provide an unbiased assessment of the ongoing scientific discussion and find the best way to handle the pandemic through ethical and scientifically informed decisions. We have heard from our chairman, Anders Volna. My name is Andrew or Andy Ewing, and I am also a member of Science Forum COVID-19 and as well a member of the Swedish Academy of Science. The strength in Science Forum COVID-19 is that we have scientists and physicians with a wide background of interests and viewpoints. This broad expertise allows us to see the pandemic from different angles, including medical issues and scientific understanding with expertise ranging from virology, epidemiology, mathematical modeling, chemistry, and physics, as well as societal issues, global politics, and ethics. We have focused a lot on the actions in Sweden as we feel these have largely affected the world with many wanting to hold up Sweden's lighter touch approach to the pandemic as an example. The UK started in the right direction, but then a famous paper from Imperial College came out and Boris Johnson made a U-turn. And now I think you're on the wrong track. But how are your figures comparing, for example, in infections and deaths to your immediate Scandinavian neighbours? They're higher. But one very important thing, I think we should wait a year in comparing deaths in different countries because the cases that have died in Sweden will be the ones similar to the ones who, when you open your lockdown, you'll have more deaths. And in the end, I think they will be about the same in each country. One thing of the Swedish policy, which is, is that we'll reach uh, herd immunity in Stockholm, in Stockholm County, about a month from now or less. Mid-May we'll have herd immunity. Sweden has more recently, in fact, had many more restrictions than much of the world knows, but is still resistant to the use of masks and insistent that children are safe and schools should stay open without precautions. These are again being used around the world as examples, and we strive to understand the science concerning masks and schools. We in Science Forum COVID-19 have collected information about the schools that have remained open and with minor mitigations throughout the pandemic. At least 14 children in the ages 0 to 19 have died. That might not sound much, but if we compare to our neighboring countries, Norway, Finland and Denmark, we have had over seven times as high child mortality as they have. Also, if we look at hyperinflammation or MIS-C, Sweden has greatly increased rates in comparison to our neighboring countries. Estimates suggest that many have and continue to suffer from long COVID. We in Science Forum COVID-19 are trying to alert our schools about the risks of keeping children unprotected during this pandemic. We also try to inform them about the science involved in trying to protect them in a better way. For example, by using a face mask. Masks are critical to stop this pandemic. We have overwhelming evidence that masks, face masks or mask protection, protects ourselves from inhaling coronavirus particles, but also if we are infected, we protect others since the particles that we exhale, some are stuck in the face mask. So together with other means to better the situation in school, for example, better ventilation, HEPA filters, open windows, in the science forum COVID-19, we have continuously been arguing that uh, it's important that all school children in Sweden wear face masks while being in school, while being inside. 